Welcome, Newark. Thanks for taking time today to spend uh, a few minutes surrounding Catholic Church and technology, and uh, just honored to be here. You know, the Catholic Church to pivot to the online resources due to the pandemic, you know, it really wasn't such a huge leap. It simply showcased the shift that was already taking place, to be honest. In fact, for more than a decade, you know, the church has been moving towards a digital delivery option as a more effective way to reach today's parishioners and students. Quick introduction, I'm Rich Bartlett from Catholic Faith Technologies. You know, back in 2008, my wife, Dana, and I, we co-founded a company called uh, My Catholic Faith Delivered, followed by Catholic Faith Technologies, or you guys may know it um, based on our diocesan management system, such as Newark, that uh, uses it as CFT. Our background uh, was in software, training, and assessments. Uh, we sold our company Assessment Technologies Institute, and we embarked on a more of a philanthropic journey, combining our passion for the beautiful faith and our expertise and our mission uh, to build technologies that brings Catholics together. You know, the next initial local effort has grown into a, a global SaaS platform built for diocesan needs today. Catholic Faith Technologies and its popular content library, My Catholic Faith Delivered, which some of you may, may have heard that as well. Um, our software is built with an insider's kind of knowledge of diocesan and parish management. And, you know, we presented it in, in Catholic vernacular, to be honest. Uh, Dan and I are truly grateful for the gifts that God's blessed us with. You know, we wanted to give back our time and talent and resources. We wanted to pass on our beautiful Catholic faith from one generation to the next. You know, to do that, we had to expand our understanding of today's learners, families, students, um, you know, of, of future generations as they relate to faith formation and the church. And, you know, how do they best learn, communicate, receive information? You know, I'll be honest, the understanding, you know, starts basically right at home. We have four kiddos, 27 in med school, down to 14, a freshman in high school at our local Catholic college, or high school. Um, you know, each one of those kiddos are spaced about four years apart. So that meant times were, you know, involved in four different school levels, multiple faith formation levels, dozens of extracurricular activities, similar to what you guys deal with, you know, with, with the kiddos in your classrooms. Um, you know, what resulted was a huge kind of tug of war between responsibilities of formation courses sports teams, homework, same, same information you, you're getting from parents, that same tug of war. You know, the modern struggle was real and it was different from our, from our own childhoods. It was, you know, a, a different way of, of formation and faith. So we, we highly value with the things that we do now uh, and try to connect with the kiddos, in, you know, in a different way than maybe you and I connected with our faith. Uh, in, in, you know, kind of in addition to our homegrown observations. We have strategic understanding of modern learners, obviously from our previous technology and e-learning experience. Um, so, you know, let's take a look and I'll introduce these modern learners to you. You probably have a pretty good inkling of who they are and what they're all about, but I'll give you a little bit uh, more of a defined kind of analysis of them. So, yep, they're busy. They have busy families. <laughs> they, nat they naturally seek learning and they're tech savvy. Naturally, uh, you know, they, they searched online to try to find those things. Uh, they're also overwhelmed and distracted, which you guys get. Learning needs to be on their schedule, and it needs to be compelling enough to engage them. Uh, they have a negative response to dated looking information, so updates are key. Um, it, for you as administrators, you need to be able to create content, make changes easily, um, and that content needs to be both highly high quality, personalized, uh, kind of a, a, a visible personal journey, you know, with fe fre frequent touch points, maybe, um, you, you know, is the answer, I guess, in, 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 you know, suggested learning to address other areas that need strengthening or valued. Um, and I'll get a little deeper into that in a second. Our modern learners. Uh, they're, 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 they respond differently to different learning styles. I'm a video and audio type learner. If I see it, I retain it. If I hear it, I retain it. Other kiddos uh, are different. Maybe they, they are written or game-based type graphically uh, learners. We try to hit all of these interesting messages, you know, to combine that effectiveness within the platforms. 
Modern learners are great at skimming content because they, they're used to revisiting information as needed and, and then continue to go back to digest it. They operate from, you know, I don't know it all, but I know where to find it. So, you know, repeat exposure to knowledge leads to greater retention in their world. Modern learners seek collaboration and discussions, especially from their peers. They'll use Google, they use search resources for additional knowledge. You know, that's why it's so critical and steadfast that, you know, we give them reliable Catholic content. You know, that's where they're gonna look. It's no secret that the church is seeing emptier pews. We see it every week in mass, even before the pandemic. So now it's even more important to try to get that, them to engage. You know, that doesn't mean that they aren't, you know, don't, don't have, you know, eager minds to try to be fed about their faith, but you need to feed them in the way that they prefer it. And that's usually online today. Uh, this became, you know, abundantly clear. Um, one of our first forays in online marriage prep courses that we created uh, and what we call our marriage uh, prep process. It actually, Newark uses it today. Uh, there's a very, very large um, diocese, very close to where you guys are, um, that we do this as well for. And they had a expectation of about 800 couples to come through after they got this live. Uh, they were blown away and had to add some staff to try to handle it and ended up getting 2,400. And it wasn't anything different than the median that they delivered it within. So there you have it. All the considerations we needed to incorporate to appeal to today's learners. So uh, we started the innovation and starting to focus on the Catholic focus technology was through faith formation. Uh, we call it flipping the classroom. You've probably heard that term a lot. Um, and, we, and, and it's through supporting the parents as the, kind of the first teacher of faith, um, especially in these times right now. They're at home. They need to have that faith formation, mom and dad helping them, looking over their shoulder. Partnering uh, with Ignatius Press, we put together a faith, the Faith and Life online series. So this uh, allowed families to access learning at a time you know, that worked for them from a place that was convenient and from the device that they had on their, in their hands. There's a laptop, a, a handheld, an iPad. Um, this also encouraged kind of that in-class meetings to expand the discussions and activities based on the knowledge that they had gained uh, already, you know, and covered in advance. Now you can bring things to life. In reality, it kind of works like, like this, you know, parents and children sitting in their car, huddled around a tablet, completing their courses while waiting for, you know, the next soccer game to start or practice in between picking up their sister or brother from another uh, band practice or dance. Um, and, it, and it worked. <laughs> the pre and post assessments, you know, show that mastery of content. Uh, you know, the catechists expand their lesson plans beyond passing out just worksheets. And, and parents learned information they had forgotten probably when they were formed as kids. So we get a lot of testimonials from parents saying, hey, thank you. You know, I was, I was reviewing this coursework, you know, over the, the shoulder of my sixth grader, and I learned more about my faith than I had in the previous 20 years. Unfortunate, but it's true. <laughs> so, uh, you know, parishes and schools, individuals and dioceses, you know, who offered this uh, online faith and life series and the formation courses, you know, they didn't really experience the pandemic disruption. Um, a lot of them were already there. So, uh, you know, why? Because it was online formation provided that kind of consistent delivery of catechesis in this great time of need. So today's, you know, Catholic faith technology offerings go far beyond, you know, formation of schools and parishes. One area is the formation of certification of catechists themselves. Again, a sign of the times. You know, how do we get that next generation of catechists in the building? How do we form them to be able to pass that beautiful faith on from one generation to the next? Many di dioceses began requiring this, this adult formation. So we're in 26 dioceses where they offer, you know, this catechetical type formation in an online environment. Um, the, uh, you know, the online uh, certification tracking of courses, attendance, credits for live events, mastery of essential content, we're all streamlined through our, our Catholic faith technologies, you know, that, that Newark uses today. Uh, those dioceses utilizing, utilizing the uh, CFT platform, they experienced no disruption 
you know, in their catechist uh, formation or, or certifications during this, this tough time that we're in. Uh, previously, you know, scheduled live events, um, you know, went on, you know, uh, weren't able to go on as usual, but they had a backstop. So C CFT has grown to incorporate all diocesan ministries, you know, and records under one roof. We use that term a lot, under one roof. Um, you know, it's one login, one platform, one enterprise approach, you know, to, be, to help the, the diocese be successful as an organization. Our diocese in New York, of Newark is one of those successful dioceses. And one of the reasons we're honored to be that platinum sponsor of this event. You know, in their quest to kind of better reach, serve uh, their catechists and membership group, they had nearly completed their online launch, you know, right before right before the pandemic, thank goodness, hit. And, and you know, please, please visit their website. Um, it's it's rcan, R-C-A-N, online.org, R-C-A-N, online.org. And you'll see their online ministries, including marriage prep, faith formation, safe environment, parish support, youth and young ministry, clergy and religious personnel. So the school's office, they've got them all under one roof, even cemeteries and pastoral life um, by, uh, for their vicariates. So, uh, even, you know, even before the pandemic, but especially now, connecting with people in a meaningful way has been harder than ever. You know, we applaud the Archdiocese of, of Newark. Uh, they've simplified their operations and now they're better able to reach out and serve their flock. I know that, you know, even as we have virtually gathered here, um, it's different. I get it. You know, some of you may be still experience the unknown school and parish openings. Uh, or the roller coaster of openings and closings, Catholic Faith Technology is here to serve you. We say that many, many times a day. Uh, this isn't about us, it's about you. We're here to serve you no matter what stage uh, or process that you're in currently. So we offer kind of that <laughs> rolling enrollment. We understand that kiddos enroll at a different time, especially in, in uh, School of Religion. So you can start and stop anytime, anytime you want. Each course is good for a year. It's open for a full 12 months. Give you a better feel for, for our courses, you can visit our library at mycatholicfaithdelivered.com. Um, and, and, you know, I encourage you to use the, the, the code NEWARK50, and you can sample a, a variety of different courses on CFT site. Uh, again, it's NEWARK50, no spaces. Um, CFT Foundation Series courses, uh, which are also available in Spanish. Uh, you know, you, you'll be able to see courses from leading postulates and our diocesan partners and network. Um, courses that are engaging and available for, you know, any age and stage of formation. They're appropriate for, you know, anyone looking for 24-7 type opportunity. Kick your feet up on the, on the coffee table at 9 o'clock at night after you get the kiddos to bed and away you go. If you're new to online learning, especially if technology isn't a natural fit for you, um, you know, and you're, you're a, 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 not a digital native like our kiddos are. I'm a digital immigrant. You're probably a digital immigrant. Um, so, you know, be rest assured. We have award-winning, you know, customer support program with, you know, really rich resources and knowledge base. And we're, we're continuing to update the things that we do. We call it the big red buttons for a purpose and a reason because they use me as the least common denominator. If I can't do it, then they go revisit it and, and make sure it works because um, I'm in your same shoes. I am a digital immigrant. You may also be, you know, a bit uneasy about the effectiveness of online formation. As I mentioned before, our courses include assessments so you can track progress, identify strengths and weaknesses. Even more assuring, CFT offers uh, the NCEA's online acre assessment for both kiddos in school, as well as parishes, as well as the adult survey and assessments. Also tagged on, on the backside of those adult surveys is it takes that assessment and spools up content um, that is directed towards maybe the things that they may not have strengths within, whether it's scripture or prayer or whatever the case may be, it automatically feeds that into a personal learning path for them. You know, these assessments can be purchased um, you know, we're lower than last year, which is wonderful because uh, most of our apostolates said, hey, we know these parishes and schools are in a time of need. We need to make sure that it's affordable and they can access it in an easy fashion. So 
most of those apostolates have allowed us to reduce, you know, the pricing on on most of the, the content that we currently have, which is unbelievable, and we're very, very thankful for them. So again, thank you for all you do. You know, we're just honored and blessed to have you today, as well as Newark and the rest of the diocese are participating. Um, are just honored to have you. And and just like Archbishop Kelleher Emeritus told us one time uh, when we first started our company, and we live by this, he said, if you we fail to pass on from one generation to the next, our faith, we fail as church. So please, please uh, let us know if we can serve you too. God bless you. Enjoy the conference and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, Newark.